West tonight says the attack by Iran was effectively defeated. No deaths among Israelis and no major damage reported. Iran says this was in retaliation for the assassination of a Hamas leader in Tehran and Israeli action in Lebanon and in Gaza. The big question tonight. When and how will Israel respond? Also today, six people were killed in a terror attack that started on the light rail in Tel Aviv. The attackers were also killed. With tensions running so high in the Mideast, here in our area, the NYPD will be on heightened alert, not only for Rosh Hashanah that begins tomorrow, but also the approaching anniversary of the October 7th attack in Israel. Tonight at 6 o'clock, we have two reports. Tanya Rivero is at Temple Emanuel on the east side of Manhattan, but we're going to begin with Lightweight News reporter Josh Einiger and the attack on Israel today. Josh? Yeah, attacks plural, Bill. It is remarkable that this night started with that attack Liz talked about at a commuter rail station. Six people shot, nine injured, uh, six people killed, nine injured in a shooting at that train station, and it happened almost simultaneously as the Iranian attack. The skies are calm over Israel at this hour. One on the morning, local time right now. The threat has passed, but it's been a terrifying night in the Middle East. The barrage of ballistic missiles covered the skies over central Israel tonight. A red alert on phone screens across the country. Urgent warnings to take cover before the onslaught. <laughs> And tonight, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told Israeli citizens Iran made a big mistake tonight, and it will pay for it. Iran unleashed about 180 ballistic missiles just after dark. They made it to Israel in a matter of minutes, sending millions in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem racing to their safe rooms as the Israelis, assisted by the Americans and the Jordanians, rushed to shoot them down. The word fog of war was invented for a situation like this. In the end, Israel, the U.S., and other coalition partners successfully blew most of the missiles out of the sky, shrapnel causing some damage, but only one known casualty, a Palestinian man in the West Bank. Based on what we now now the attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective and this is testament to Israeli military capability and U.S. military. I'm also it's also a testament to intensive planning between the United States and Israel to anticipate and defend against the brazen attack we expected. Make no mistake the United States is fully 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 supportive of Israel. Iran said the attack was in retaliation for Israel's decimation of Hezbollah, the terror group based in Lebanon and funded by Iran. We have been warning for some time about the threat posed by Iran arming and funding terrorist groups across the Middle East, and the attack today just demonstrated the danger of those actions. What you saw was Iran launching a state-on-state -state attack to protect and defend the terrorist groups that it has built, nurtured, and that it controls. For many in the region, it isn't much of a surprise that a humiliated Iran, reeling from the losses Israel recently meted out on its ally Hezbollah, would choose to unleash an onslaught of lethal firepower on Israeli civilian centers. The open question tonight is how will Israel respond, and will that response spiral the region into catastrophe?